Well, as days go, today was a good day. Um, it was Vesta uh, Masters Head today um, in London, uh, 31st of March. Um, this morning I set out some goals um, and we had some pretty ambitious targets. Um, I guess uh, the G8 um, who beat Broxbourne once and lost to Broxbourne once uh, managed, <laughs> managed to win G8s today <laughs> after a little bit of an adventurous uh, um, course. Um, they were four abreast uh, going through Hammersmith and the boy just past Harrods was sticking out a bit further than I've ever seen it sticking out actually and uh, they sort of got run off the course because there wasn't room they were overtaking three crews at the same time and there wasn't room for them to get by um, the Cox didn't actually see the big red boy in front of them and they passed the wrong side of it uh, clanking all the riggers um, it actually um, they actually stopped um, it knocked the uh, two man's blade out, out of his hands so um, a little bit of a delay for them there but they won today uh, by 13 seconds they did get penalised by 10 seconds for going the wrong side of the boy which um, it, it is a statement of fact that they went the wrong side of the boy but I thought it was a bit harsh when they were overtaking three crews but anyway um, a win for them uh, great stuff really pleased for them really really pleased for them um, the E8 um, had a very large field, uh, four international crews, uh, from two from America, two from Germany, and obviously a very strong Molsey crew. Um, <laughs> we managed to win. Um, uh, uh, we uh, we won by three seconds from Marin, um, who are a club based in uh, San Francisco in California. Um, they tend not to travel um, lightly so when they come they tend to bring fairly weighty crews uh, very good um, that we beat those um, we beat Wallingford into third place and Molsey into fourth place um, which is a, a really staggering result really uh, we had uh, good margins over Wallingford and um, Molsey uh, more than 10 seconds over both of those um, and that's just that's great stuff. Uh, some of the goals um, were uh, sadly defeated by the wind. Uh, we had a we had a northeasterly uh, headwind for quite a lot of the course. Uh, we did eat a gear in at the start with the with the clams, uh, which was probably a good shout. Um, uh, but it did slow the times considerably. Um, but the more rele relevant um, um, milestones were last year we won fifty nine behind the winners. This year we won. 20 behind the winners uh, last year we came 29th this year we come 15th so all in all um, that, that's good news um, Chris Callow is Star Club member in a quad uh, last year they beat us by 22 seconds uh, this year we beat them by 19 seconds so um, we can feel we're making um, real progress uh, Monmouth um, last year beat us by 15 seconds, they're a D8, they beat us by 5 seconds at Trent this year and uh, today we beat them by 30 seconds so all in all it points, points to um, a very good performance from today. Um, I'd just like to give a big shout out to both Coxes who did um, a fantastic job, both of them in slightly difficult circumstances uh, we overtook four crews um, and we went under Hammersmith Bridge uh, three three in a row um, uh, I think Sam uh, in the g-boat might have had it slightly more tricky on the basis they overtook five crews and they had four abreast um, coming to Hammersmith and out the other side they were still um, obviously down to that boy which was probably 400 meters further on they were still um, uh, side by side with the other crews so um, a big shout out to those for, for a fantastic job uh, if you take the handicaps into into effect we came fifth overall we got beaten by uh, a B a C and two D crews on handicap um, so fifth fastest um, overall on handicap is great 15th fastest overall is um, pretty impressive for an E crew 
Uh, Hollingworth Lake um, also uh, was a good milestone. Uh, we beat them by eight seconds at Trent and we beat them by 41 seconds today. So all in all it points to um, what must amount to a really great row today. We did a training session um, this morning. Uh, we went out 9.30, quarter to 10. Um, very windy, it was very bouncy. There was coaching launches out, which um, churns the water up slightly differently than than um, just wind on its own. Uh, um, I think we probably went back about a month. <laughs> um, we've had some really, really good um, outings last week in Bedford on what's pretty calm water, but um, the bounce, um, the bounce on the tideway from the launches and the wind um, just tensed us up a little bit in the paddling. We couldn't um, really get on top of it. We did a couple of um, warm up pieces and um, uh, well, me, I particularly I, my forearms were were tensing up really bad, and I was getting um, arm ache fairly uh, fairly quickly, um, which is not a great thing. Um, we came in, um, we sort of talked about trying to relax. Um, uh, the paddle back to the start was better, but um, I, I was. Uh, a little bit concerned that we weren't mastering the conditions in the boat um, particularly well but, but when we went off the start we were a different animal um, which is <laughs> which is always uh, nice to know you've got that one in your locker um, and probably some of the worst conditions um, were right at the beginning and um, a little bit tricky right at the end um, and I think we pretty much nailed the first five minutes through um, Barnes Bridge out the other side towards the bandstand. Um, I was watching some crews when we were sitting um, at the start and there were some London clubs that were really struggling in that water and um, I think we got through it quite well and I think that set us up for a good row and um, I think we did have some slightly scrappy pieces um, but all in all I think um, we rode infinitely better than we can paddle on the tideway, that's for sure. Anyway, we're on the road to Budapest. And uh, my camera's just gone. Okay, we're on the road to Budapest and uh, we're well on the way. Two wins at uh, Vets Masters. That's um, superb stuff. Sort of thing that dreams are made of. You couldn't have... Um, we couldn't have set out... A week ago after Kingston hoping that that would be the case. So brilliant stuff. Cheers.